Hello everybody and welcome back to the episode of the new safe. I'll go jump in again and we are going to play as a little old modded character because we haven't done modded in a little bit. Let's do Golem. Golem's always a fun one. Um, give him a little go and grind up his little stones to see what we can get. Um, not an amazing item off the bat but not terrible. Um, we leave a bunch of creep on taking damage. It's, it's fine. It's fine. I didn't realize I had a visual though. We've got like a little weird thing coming out the top of our head now. Um... One of these is grind for free, so we'll grind one for free. I have 50% chance to fire a grid here that leaves behind a trail of slowing creep. Not bad, not bad. And the other one we crush, because we don't want it, we just want the HP. Thank you. And then here we'll grab whatever we can get from this guy. Um, wow, that's a big tears up. <laughs> no, it's not. It lied to me. 1.65 tears up my ass. <laughs> not even close, game. Not even close. But... A tears up nonetheless, a tears up nonetheless. Either way, how is everybody on this fine, fine day today? My god, I have so much D&D stuff to talk about. <laughs> oh god, I got like a little frame drop there. Um, but yeah, um, for the question of the day though, for the question of the day, what's a beverage that you would outlaw if you could? For me, I just want to get rid of tea and coffee. I don't drink tea or coffee. And god damn, I know it's not British, but fuck, stop offering me a tea or coffee everywhere I go. And then I say, I don't drink tea or coffee, and people are like, what? Oh my god. <laughs> it's like, fuck's sake, I'd just rather it not exist. <laughs> it's a pain in the ass. Anyways. Anyways. So yeah, on uh, on Saturday, so today, today's Monday. On Saturday, we played um, we played D&D again, and oh my lord, was it a spicy session. My god. So, I've spoken about it a little bit before. Those of you that don't understand D&D, &D, I apologize, but <laughs> these these videos are a lot of me talking nonsense, so hopefully you can catch up. But basically, to give a bit of backstory as to as to where we're at with my D&D, &D, I've been playing a warlock. Warlocks are characters that have a uh, like a, a pact with a with one of their patrons. Basically, a god, either a good or bad god, has come to you and giving you a gift, giving you powers, in exchange for you basically being their servant and you basically being loyal to them. Um, which means that, as a warlock, I have a patron and a god that, that w will, at some point, make me do things that I might not want to do. Um, and make me do things to basically stay loyal to them. Um, and that came to fruition in the most recent session. We basically this entire session, this entire campaign so far, but this 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 was our sixth sixth player session, I think. Um, so our entire campaign so far, we'd what the hell's this? Spawns a perishable item and shopkeeper next to Isaac. Oh, I kind of like the idea of that. I'll, I'll hold on to that in a minute. Um, I want to use a solar cane first though, somewhere that's gonna get some use out of it. <clears throat> Here, I guess. Oh, we got an angel deal, <laughs> so that's good. Ah, you bloody bugger. I mean, yeah, nice, but did it have to be that one? And we also got a mini boss. How dare you, game? How dare you? That was very, very deceitful of you. And we get super secret room as well, which we can teleport to. Lovely. Very nice. Very good. Very nice. We need regular secret room as well. I'm not quite sure where that is, but we need to find it for the rocks. One second. Let's keep this party rolling. Yeah, let's try and find our secret room. I'll take this rune as well, because when we get more money, I feel like this could be kind of interesting. I like the idea behind it. Right, where the hell are we going here for secret room? This is kind of odd. I, I genuinely don't know where it could be. Because, like... I'd think it was, like, above here, but it's not. <laughs> um... Where the hell is it? Maybe it's, like, right here. Uh, if we go... Nope, it's not there either. So it can't be there. Can't be in here. Genuinely perplexed by this one. Can't be here. Honestly, I, I don't know where the regular secret room is at all. There's, there's no obvious place for it whatsoever. I'm going to just leave, I think. There's no obvious place for it whatsoever. But yeah, so as, as a warlock, um, I've got my patron and stuff, and that kind of came to fruition in the last session. The entire the entire D&D &D, uh, campaign we've been playing so far has all been sort of focused around one central objective. Essentially, we have been... Um, 
we have been, we joined like an adventurer's guild, and we've been trying to help solve some crimes. Um, I'm going to grab that real quick. We've been trying to help solve some crimes, and the main one being there's been a bunch of disappearances. There's been a bunch of people that have, um, that have been kidnapped by this gang, um, and they don't know what's happening to them or where they've been taken. Uh, and so it was our job to investigate and find out, and we'd get rewards if we brought these people back um, alive. And so we've been looking around to see if we can um, find these people. And we'd basically mainly been investigating about this one specific person. He was like the highest yielding bounty of all of them. Um, so we've been doing this investigation, and all of our sessions so far were all around investigating this guy's life, going to his old workshop, visiting his wife, and getting as much information as we could about why he might have been kidnapped and, and who he is, and how best to find him. And anyways, it, we spent multiple sessions doing this, and eventually it led us to finding this warehouse um, where a lot of the prisoners were being stored, like in cages. <clears throat> Essentially, they were being uh, mined for their, like, magical essence. They were, like, being put put on this machine that basically harvests their essence and kills them um, through, through like, pain and torture. Um, and so, we were like, okay, we're going to have to find a way to break in. And we, we, we did. We broke in and we killed one of the guards and we freed all the prisoners. And we finally found this guy that we'd been looking for the entire time. And then my dungeon master says... You feel a pain in your chest, and you hear a voice. Along with you get like along with this, you get some visions. Basically, my patron. I'm a celestial warlock, so it was a it was a solar god, like a god of the sun, comes to me in a vision and says, "This man is pure evil. You must kill him. Like otherwise, like I'll be very disappointed. You have to kill him. Um, and also." I just leveled up to level 3, and as a as a um, warlock at level 3, you gain a Pact, which is like your special ability. And I picked up Pact of the Term, which basically gives me a book with extra spells in it. Um, and though he was like, to, to earn your Pact of the Term, you, the, the only way you can do it is to kill this man. So, uh, we just went through all of this fucking back and forth trying to save this man's life. My entire party, me and me and that three other party members, went this whole thing. And I just come along and fucking kill him. <laughs> the moment I basically wait until everyone else is like, ex like entering the sewers to, to make their escape, I hold him back to and ask him questions for a little while. And then um, off of the back of that, I fucking murder him. Um, and the, none of the rest of the party knows what happened. They just know that we went into the sewers. We went we went into the warehouse to get this specific guy. We came out with every other prisoner apart from the specific guy, and then we left. So next session, I've got some explaining to do. Ooh, spawns a pill, converts all pills into spirit pills. Spirit pills activate spirit orb effects on top of their pill effect. Very nice. I like the idea of that. Cool. I am down with this. Uh, right, let's keep it going. Do we want to chisel anything onto us? I think I want to chisel this one onto me, yeah. This one's pretty good. Right, let's keep it moving. Secret room. Not entirely sure. Maybe here. But yeah, so it was just super, super unexpected, um, and a really, really interesting twist. I wasn't expecting to get a twist so early into the campaign when we're all level three, but that was a, that was a pretty big twist, and it was very unexpected. So I was I was very surprised by it, and it was genuinely a really, really tough decision to make. Genuinely, dude! Oh my god, these guys wrecked her! Wow, that was insane. Um, spectral and flight is pretty good. Do you know what? I'm going to take this because this is pretty good, but also it pairs well with the trinket thing we just got. Because if, if we do this, watch. No? Maybe it only works in combat rooms. Basically, this one here. Explosions cause rocks that deal two times damage to fall from the sky. I would have thought that class is an explosion, but maybe not. Right, anyways, let's keep this all moving and grooving.
Let's keep this all going forward. Okay. Um, we're supposed to be doing... I don't know what boss that is. What boss is that? It's not Mega Saiyan. What is that? Is that boss rush? I think that's just boss rush, isn't it? Oh, we got some helicopter boys. Nice. <laughs> Wasn't expecting those, but thank you. Oh, but this guy does fire explosions though, so that's all okay. We get some explosions either way here. I like it. I like the explosives. They're good shit. And yeah, this, this space bar item is very good anyways. It allows you to destroy rocks for free, which is nice. But also, you do some good damage. One second. I'm trying my hardest to avoid sniveling while I'm audible. Because I know it's horrible for people to listen to. I'm trying my best, people. I'm trying my best. I do feel mostly better, but it's not all the way better. It's like, I am better. I feel better. But I still feel congested somewhat. Amazing. Yeah, I like I like all this rock falling business we've got going on right now. It's it's quite lovely. I will buy the pill. I'm very interested in using all these pills. Um I'm just gonna pop this and see what happens. Eh. Not great. Could have used that in a better situation, but I was just I wanna use other things. I wanna take my pills with me and stuff. I don't want to be beholden to those. No, I lost my helicopter friends. Yeah, these, this, this, this whole witch doctor thing's pretty cool. Sheep rock, chance to inflict drows, uh, drowsiness uh, that decelerates and floats in place. I think I'll, uh, I think I'll grind that up. Unfortunately, even though I do like it, I think that just the stuff we've got right now is really good. <laughs> the stuff we've got right now is really good. I don't want to give it up. Back we go. We've we been to our item room yet. No, we haven't. Let's uh, zoom back to the starting room, shall we? Zoom on back to the starting room. Oh, we got one of these guys there. This could be good. Damage when a curse is present. Um. Hmm. It's too much tears to lose that, isn't it? I think I'm going to take it. I think the rock explosion things just aren't that good right now. And the guarantee of... Um, the guarantee of damage on uh, for floors with curses. Pretty, pretty goddamn good. Cannot deny its power. Cannot deny its power. Right, yeah, this, this, this extra damage is lovely. We kind of needed this. We were flagging a little bit. We're good now. Oh, that was beautiful. Dude, this, this item's amazing. Any room with rocks and you can get some good stuff going on. But yeah, I just, I just love how D&D &D can, like, be so, sort of, I don't know, it was just, it, it was, like, genuinely, like, I was nervous. I was like, what the fuck do I do? Because I had to make a split, like... A very, very split-second decision of, like, what the hell do I actually do now? Because, like, I had to basically betray my entire group. Uh, but but also, like, I didn't really have a choice, because when your patron tells you to do something as a warlock, you kind of got to fucking do it. You don't really have much of a choice. So, um, I was kind of stuck. I was kind of stuck in this position where I was like, okay, I guess I'm gonna, just going to have to do this and find a way... To get around it. I even, like, even afterwards we had to, like, deliver, to get our, our sort of winnings or earnings, should I say, for all of the prisoners we saved. Um, we had to go to the police station and take them all with us and then, like, sort of get interviewed to get a report of exactly what happened. And we had to, like, enter a zone of truth um, in the police station, which basically is exactly what it sounds. It's just a zone where you cannot lie, or at least it's very difficult to lie. Um, and so I had to find a way to to tell the police what happened without lying in front of people, but without giving myself away as to what actually happened. And I also now have to decide next session, how do I actually go about this? I, I like 
I genuinely don't know if I want to tell people what happened or not. I, I, I really don't know. I really don't know. It's, uh, it, it's, it's tricky, and I'm, I'm put in a difficult situation. But basically, my, my, my patron being a solar is all about being good and doing, doing the right thing. But that's doing good from a god's perspective, not doing good from a, from a human perspective. Which means that sometimes their view on the world is pretty warped, and it sometimes means that, that what they want me to do might not be the right thing. And basically, this guy was innocent. Like, this guy that I killed was fairly innocent. The problem was that he he was a he was a like an artificer, so he made things, and he had made things that have killed people and harmed people. And he'd he'd put forth a lot of pain on the on the world, even if it wasn't the intention for him to do so. He had not made these things specifically for war, or specifically for battle, but they had got into the hands of people that wanted to use it for such uh, uses, which. Put, put me in a difficult position because my my um, patron was like, "This guy has helped kill a lot of people. He is bad. You 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 now have to uh, have to stop him from ever doing it again." Yeah, it's it's it was kind of sketchy, um, and it's yeah, it's put me in a really difficult position for next session. I really don't know what I'm gonna do because I don't want to tell the whole group. But there's one person in our group that's very suspicious of what happened so far. Because they know that I was the last person sawn, sawn, last person seen with this guy, and then he never left. So, ooh, hello. Bit of Isaac's tomb, I like that. Soul of Isaac's not bad as well. Um, <clears throat> yeah, so they're very suspicious of what happened. And it, it does, it does mean that, like, I'm gonna have to find a way to either Tell them the truth in a way that they'll, for one, believe me, and two, trust me. Or I'm going to have to lie my ass off and find a way to to, to trick, trick her into believing what happened. It's it's difficult. I don't I don't exactly know how best to uh, to go about this. Beautiful stuff there. Lovely. Wasn't expecting that to be a double tinted rock, but it was, and I do not mind that whatsoever. Right. Wasn't really the rock I was looking for, was it? Come on now. Grab that. Ugh, oh, come on. It's always so sad when you open a tinted rock and you get, like, nothing from it. Let's keep going. We've got a solar Isaac to work things out. The, the radius on that's amazing. Health up, followed by that. Oh my lord, dude, this is this this witch doctor mask thing. I remember them bringing it up when because I'm mean, I'm in the server for like milkshake, and I remember them bringing it up when they were first like theory crafting ideas, and I love the idea. And in practice, it's very good. I really like it. Oh, dude, just stop getting hit. <clears throat> I ought to stop getting hit. It's not good for me. Ain't no rocks about here. Good, good, good. Right, let's keep this going. We've not got a curse at the minute either, so our damage is down, unfortunately. I didn't even think about that earlier. Didn't even think about the fact that we're getting no damage here. Oh, I also ate a lot of food yesterday, so I'm really feeling a bit hefty. But I went went to a friend's house, and um, he made us a, a roast pork shoulder, like a roast dinner. Oh, man. It was fucking incredible. <laughs> it was so goddamn good. Got to got to live the dream, eating a roast dinner and petting their cats. It was, it was truly a very, very pleasant evening. Cut short though, because my girlfriend had work at half four in the morning today, so we had to leave early. Sad times. Ooh, it's been a it's been a long while since I've seen you, Doctor Fetus. It's been a long while, but I shall take you under my wing. We do like the Doctor Fetus. It's been ages since I've had Doctor Fetus. We love it. So good. Now I need some bomb synergies to make this more fun. Good. We got this, which I don't remember what this one does. He's on the boss, though. We 
Okay. Yeah. Probably worse than just firing with Dr. Fetus, but we'll take it. It, it pretty much killed him. We don't mind that. We don't mind that. Check out what's going on in here. Yes, please. Give me those knives, bad boy. Give me those knives. Now I wish I had the thing with the falling rocks. <laughs> Would be very, very good right now. Would be very, very good. Um, quickly go and sell this off. Do you know what? I'm actually gonna. I'm actually gonna see if I can get something better out of this one rather than selling it off. See what we can get. One look. You know, that's not what I need. Oh, I fucking mashed the wrong one, didn't I? You bastard of a game. My fire rate one's gone, it's fine, whatever. Um. Not really getting what we want here. It's kind of nice. Want my bomb one back. Yeah, bugger tears. I like that. Alright, we'll smelt both of those on tours and we'll get going. That's a bit annoying. Lost my fire rate. I don't. I, it's, it's not like I exactly needed the fire rate with Dr. Fetus, but still, it's sad to lose it, isn't it? It's not ideal to lose it. Let's keep her going there. Oh, I forgot we had that. I forgot we had that. Grants one burn heart on the first. Okay. I'll take it, I'll take it. Soul of Methany. Do my Johnny's knives not, not work at the moment or something? Oh, it's because i got to hold it. Okay. Johnny's knives aren't exactly the best for us here. I took them a bit preemptively. I'm going to have to hold down the fire button for them to do anything. Which is obviously risky. Beautiful. No thank you. Okay, let's keep this chain going. Let's keep on pushing forward. We're not exactly heavily interacting with the the um, the mechanics of the character, I'll be honest, but we've got a good run going nonetheless, so I don't mind. Dude, stop jumping as soon as I have my bomb hits, please. Thank you. Hey, we filled up our uh, burn heart as well. Was hoping we'd be able to do so. Oh god, barely kill that guy. But yeah, Doctor Fetus runs. Oh, I love him. Dr. Fetus is probably one of my favourite, like, interesting tier modifiers, especially, like, if you get some cool bomb synergies going on. Now, you, you don't always, but... It can be really interesting, especially if you get, like, Enigma bombs going. Oh, man. It gets wild if you do that. It's actually better with Johnny's Knives have less fire rate, I think, here. Ah, oh, of course I hurt myself. And we get the one of the worst active items ever, especially with this setup. I don't need something that does a big explosion when I have unlimited explosions, thank you. Okay. All good. A red heart in here. Dude, I think, my, I think my little red fly flying around me then did a lot of uh, damage there for me. Not what was my plan was, but I'll accept it. There you go. Not what my plan was, but I will accept it. We're supposed to be doing boss rush, but unfortunately I've missed it by quite quite the the large mark. <laughs> I've missed it by quite a bit. Ooh, would I take this? I think I might. Flight would be pretty good. The bonus speed would actually be amazing. Um Yeah, we'll take that. Let's go. Yeah, I'm going to take that for the speed and the flight. Speed and the flight are very, very nice. There you go. I also just like the ability to dash around as well. That's kind of nice. Get out of here, you. 
And we've got these short range tiers coming out now as well. I don't know if they're doing much for us, to be honest. Ooh. Ooh, you could change our trinkets. I still don't really know the value in those guys, because trinkets don't have qualities. So it's not like they upgrade to the next level of quality when you do that. If they did, it'd make more sense. Like, but it could just... You take two trinkets and turn them into one different one, but it's like it could be one different one that's kind of crap. Also, I've, I've like somehow messed up my, my tab. I want a tab where there's no timer and small minima. And I'm not able to do that right now. I don't know why. Right, small minima, no timer, whatever. It's pissing me off. Not working for me. <clears throat> Let's go. That didn't really do much, did it? <laughs> Sack room there as well. I think we're just on the on the push for the end zone right now. Try and find our item rooms and our bosses. And we just dip. Extra soul heart, lovely. Wasn't expecting it. Definitely wasn't expecting that either. Lovely. Another devil deal coming our way that we can take advantage of. Oh, just walk right into that shell. Like, oh, I don't have spectral. Stop trying to fire over the goddamn blocks. It's not going to work. There you go. We're all good. We're all good. And there's our boss as well. Really? That didn't kill you? Wow, you've got a lot of HP. Okay, we're good to go. Ooh, we uh, left a little puddle of creep there. wonder what that was from. It happened when our uh, Lamagetum Wisp died. Or was it uh, was it one of our Beth Wisps? Not a Lamagetum Wisp. I don't remember. I don't remember. Damn. The only thing about Dr. Fetus, the bomb timer makes it incredibly hard to accurately hit the boss. It also doesn't do that much damage, to be honest. You'd think it'd be more... God damn it, I'm gambling on it pe peeking out of that one side and it's not. Minimap's covering half my screen here as well. Come on. Stop poking that side, fuck's sake. And now you do this side, of course. Man, that was annoying. Um... Increase damage and shot speed, flip to the B side um, on the first floor of the chapter, which increases tiers and speed. It's kind of an interesting idea. Yeah, I'll, I'll take that over this. It's an interesting idea. It intrigues me. <clears throat> right. Now, we're on the we're on the, the home stretch of good old womb. Still don't know what I've done with my, like, how I've messed up my time. I, just get rid of the timer. I don't want the timer, and I want small minimap. Why can't I do that? Is that not how I normally have it, or am I am I mistaken? Maybe it's like doing that. Tab and then escape and tab. Ah, fuck it. I don't know. I've done something wrong. I've pressed the wrong button, and it's ruined it. Oh, lord. Okay. Uh, didn't mean to just leave there, but Oh my god, this is crazy. I could just bomb through the rooms, actually. I didn't even think about that. Especially when I'm getting hit this much. I really ought to not be. Not what I meant to do, but I will take the half out. Dude, bomb the door. How is this not bombing the door? Okay, it must be a mini boss in there. Must be. Yes, it is. Oh, you, uh... Perished quite quickly there. I will not complain. Ah, god damn it, I'm taking away so much damage. At least I got this burn heart to keep me going, sort of thing. At least I got this burn heart. Right, this was the wrong way anyways, which makes me sad. I'm bouncing off the goddamn door every time as well, fuck's sake. Don't know why I did that, god damn it, I'm stupid. Right. This is definitely a bomb out room. I've got too much goddamn shot speed. Too much shot speed. 
Get gone, silly womb rooms. Damn it, I lost my burn heart. No. Why fight the rooms when you can just not? <laughs> the beauty of having unlimited bombs. Yeah, this, this is why I need to be, be able to minimize my fucking map. I can't see jack shit right now, but I don't want my timer up. But whatever, we'll keep the timer up then. Fuck's sake. Have it your way, game. It's always have it your way. The dastardly dog. My mum's coming over later today as well, so we're going to be able to have a nice lunch and stuff. It's going to be nice. Lovely. Yeah, I guess I'm quite, quite looking forward to it because we always eat good <laughs> when she comes over. That didn't really work exactly as I wanted it to. But you are dead. Uh, Devil Deal. Ooh. This is interesting. Picking up an item will grant a temporary copy of the item for a minute. It's kind of intriguing. I'm going to take both here. I like the idea behind that. That's interesting. Only a minute, though. Only a minute isn't isn't a lot. Isn't a lot. But I thought, why not? Oh wait, what? Where the fuck did we get this from? This isn't a copy. Where did we get? What the hell? <laughs> That's not a copy. That's a different. That's a different item. <laughs> Where did we get this from? I don't know what's happened here. Hellfire's doing some good shit, though. We like that. We like it. We like it. Right, little worm boy. I'm gonna need you to die more easily. This is infuriating. <laughs> okay, just hit me then. Wow, we took a lot of damage there. It was not good. But yeah, I don't, I don't know what's going on why we've got black powder. Because that's not a copy. We, we don't have black powder. How has that come about? Oh, dude. We have taken a lot of unnecessary damage here. Okay, I lost black powder. And I lost pentagram. Okay, that's definitely not working as intended. Because it said grants a copy. I It's either worded incorrectly. Or it's functioning incorrectly. Because either it's supposed to say grants a item from the item pool for a minute, a random item from the item pool for a minute, or it's meant to be granting me an exact copy of the item I bought, uh, or, or picked up for a minute, and it's not doing that, so there's something a little funky about that. We do like Hellfire, though. We do like Hellfire. Oh my lord, we might die here. <laughs> we might die here. I've taken a bit of a beating. Oh no, no really. I didn't realise I was uh, not going to get him before the thing here, if this phase ended. Don't die, don't die, don't die, don't die. Okay, we're good. We didn't die. Save me, Devil Deal. Save me. Oh my god. My hero. My hero. Right. Okay, let's go. Oh, this has been a bit of a stressful one. A bit of a wild one indeed. This could save us too. Ah, oh, just trinkets. We don't really need any of those right now, I don't think. Could use that on a better room, but what's done is done. Do I seriously have to? Could you not just let me play the room normally? Could you not just just not be gross for a bit? Thank you. Oh, and it's the wrong way anyways. Okay, luckily I can still bomb out on this floor. If I couldn't, that'd have been a sad, sad time. Oh my lord, so many wrong ways. It's depressing. All of this for nothing. All of this Peyton. I 
looks like we're going the right way at least. Checking every which way here. Come on. <laughs> Dude, this isn't the right way either. How dare you? I went all of this way and none of it's right. Fuck you, game. That's just savage. It's just savage. Why couldn't have any of this been the right way, man? Oh, dude. I am, I am fumbling right now. Oh, no. I, 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 th I think we're dead. I think it's safe to say we're dead. That, that fucked me so royally. I really thought that was the right way. What a waste of time. I don't know what, really what you do. Hello. Ooh, these guys are firing some fast shots. I don't like that. Another room I should escape from, thank you. Big rooms like this with multiplexes, I can't really bomb out of. It just doesn't make sense. Just you left? Easy. I can bomb out of this room, though. Real speedily, real quick. Stop giving me dead ends, game. You know I hate it. I've got to fight the boss with one heart. I don't imagine it's going to go well. If I make it, that is. Okay. At least the bombs don't knock each other anymore. I don't know what I was doing then. I just stood and took the damage. Either way, I hope you guys enjoyed this run. It was an interesting one nonetheless, and I'll see you guys in the next one.